going on everybody? So a while back I had done this kind of like holster mashup, comparing all of these different holsters to one that are kind of different styles, different classes, and definitely different quality and price levels. So one of the holsters I brought up in there is by a company called CYA. Now you take a wild guess what that stands for, let your imagination run wild. Don't put it in the comments, but I know someone's probably going to. Either way, I put out some information on that holster and apparently I got a few things twisted. So they were cool enough to actually reach out to me and kind of give me a few things in their updated designs and their holsters and their materials because there is quite a bit of a difference in a couple of materials out there that holsters are made of that I wasn't actually aware of. So like I said, the people over at CYA reached out to me and they are a veteran owned company and actually sent this really nice carbon fiber holster out for the 43, 43X. And they've got a bunch of different models out there, but they use some different materials and some different processes than some other companies. And some of the companies that are using the same stuff might surprise you. We will definitely take a look at this thing up close here in a second, but I wanted to go over a couple of things that they provided information on. One of which, all of these are vacuum formed and sealed with the molds that they actually make in house. I did not know that. They do now offer them with the adjustable clip as far as cant, because I don't like canted holsters. It's just weird for the draw angle for my wrist. So the newer versions allow you to kind of cant that clip a little bit, giving you a more straight or a more angular draw if that's what you're into. Probably one of the biggest differences is this holster is not made of Kydex, which I thought it was, and I thought it looked kind of different as compared to some other Kydexes. And there was a reason for that. It's actually made of a material called Bolteron, which is actually kind of a huge, uh, I guess, competitor to Kydex, but there are some really positive benefits to Bolteron as compared to Kydex, which we're gonna get into in just a second. So my understanding, because I had to do a bunch of research on this and figure things out, because I wanted to make sure the information I was providing was as good as it could be. So Bolteran is actually kind of more heat, more chemical, more cold resistant, and has a higher impact rating than Kydex does. And when I talked about some of those companies that are already using Bolteran, you may not know of, CYA uses it, Alien Gear uses it, and Safari Land Holsters uses it as well. So that kind of goes to show you the level of quality of the Bolteran product. Now there are some differences. It's not going to have as much as a matte finish and it kind of won't have those grooved kind of, you know, gnarled details in there like Kydex does, which is, I guess, six to one half dozen the other because some people may like that look, although it may retain dirt and grease and debris a little bit better. It could be just an aesthetic thing, but it's not gonna have that kind of flat matte finish. My understanding is also is Bolteran is a little bit more difficult to work with because you have to use a higher heat rating on it. But again, it is a little bit more impact resistant, chemical, heat, and cold resistant than other materials like Kydex. Well, let's go ahead now that you know all of that information, take a quick up close look at this, and then we're gonna talk about positives and negatives of this holster design and CYA's business model as compared to some others. All right, let's get into the facts about this holster right here from the people over at CYA. So go ahead and get that uh, sexy little gray 43 out of the way. And we're gonna take a look at the overall build quality of this holster right here. So as you can see, it's that nice carbon fiber look. That finish work on there, it's good. It's top notch. It's what I would expect from a large holster manufacturer. There's no burrs, there's no bandsaw marks left in there. You can see it's been nicely polished around there, a little shiny so you guys can kind of see that. That's good. You can actually see in the back right there. I know it's a little tough to see, but you can actually see the G43 in there. I know it's a little tough to get the light in there for you to see it, but that is in there. So these are vacuum sealed, and this is made of that Bolteron material, which like I said, you know, a little bit more impervious to some chemicals, to heat, to cold, all that stuff. So a couple things about the holster, it is that kind of full fold over design, that like pancake style design where it completely protects the muzzle right there, as you guys can see. Some people are a fan of that, some people are not. We have that one single clip right there with the CYA logo, no step on snack right there. And it is adjustable, so they have changed that. So down in here, they've sectioned out that part so you can cant this or take that cant out. I prefer the straight up and down works with my wrist. I don't have to kind of have my wrist bent at that weird angle when drawing. Definitely something that I like. Pretty clean design all the way around. You see this in here. Good positive click in right there. Got that retention divot right there to get into that trigger guard. Sleek and slim. You can see just barely enough material past the trigger guard right there. Very clean. For those of you people running extended uh, controls right there, you can see little bit of room for that extended mag release in there 
which is good. So that's a positive their way. So nice setup, nice design here. There are limited color offerings. Check out that patch right there. For those of you doing the subscribe star thing for the next couple of months while supplies last, I will be sending these out to subscribe stars for free. Let's go ahead and talk about some positives and negatives, a little bit more about that material and their business model over at CYA. So as you can see, the quality is there. That finish work is absolutely awesome, which is something I really look for in a holster because that's time, and time always equals money when it comes to manufacturing. So as far as the differences between Bolter and Kydex, it's gonna be up to the company making the holsters and it's gonna be up to you maybe on what look you like more. Now, as far as being able to cant that clip on there, that's huge for me because my wrist angle just doesn't work with holsters that are canted forward like that a little bit. Even when I have them on that three o'clock position, my natural wrist and elbow angle just wants to come straight up, not kind of out at that angle like this. It just doesn't work for my wrist. Now, as far as the open kind of mouth design, which was something I brought up in my other video, especially with the Gen 5 stuff, that has been corrected. So let's talk about a couple of things I think, and this is personal stuff, and this is kind of really nitpicking, that I kind of like and appreciate in holsters. One, I like the thinner clips, you know, you kind of like you see on the sidecar style designs or sidekick designs like from Gerber. I like those single clips like that, even if there was two of them, because it provides a little bit more adjustability. And those bigger clips always seem to come off my belt for some reason. I don't know why. If you have that problem as well, let me know in the comments down below. And as far as we saw up close, I'm kind of more of a fan of the open mouth bottom design because it just cuts down on the amount of material that could be gouging into you anywhere. And the more minimalist material to me, kind of the better things are. But then again, there may be a reason for that. Some people do like a completely closed front because it fully protects that muzzle in there. That's really a personal thing up to me. So let's talk about their business models. Like I said, they are a veteran owned company. And when they reached out to me, they kind of explained why they do what they do. Now they offer a specific limit of brands and styles that they service because they want to keep their costs way down. Now these holsters to include that one range anywhere from like 35 to 40 bucks from what I saw, which is a pretty solid price for a quality holster. And the reason they don't offer crazy different designs and kydexes and all those colors is because it keeps their manufacturing costs low, which they then push that savings onto the consumer. Although that may not fit everybody's needs, for the vast majority of people, they're probably gonna be looking for something very basic and simple, especially if they are new into the 2A community, because you're not gonna be able to afford maybe a $80 to $150 holster or a sidekick design or something like that. So this is something that they've kind of set their niche market in to service those people looking for a specific design at a specific price point. And I have to say at that like 35 to 40 bucks, it's a pretty dang solid design for what they're putting out. So now that you guys got that good, good info on the CYA holsters that you may be interested in, check them out, see if it's something that will fit your needs. If you guys have any questions, I will try to do my best to answer them. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Check that subscribe star out if you haven't. For the next couple of months while supplies last, I'll be giving out one of those patches, the PVC patches that we saw up close there. So if you're interested, that link will be down below. You guys get out there on the range, have some fun. I will see you guys on the next one.